Hello LEGO fans, Bricks Unbound here with another update to my building Hogwarts series. Uh, this building is actually a bit more contained than some of the previous updates, a little bit more complete. As you can hopefully tell, this is the Hogwarts boat house. And I would say it's probably 90-ish, maybe a little bit more percent complete. You can obviously tell there's some pieces of the roof <laughs> that are missing. I just ran out of these, uh, these corner slope pieces. Uh, so I'll have to order some more of those. I think I have some somewhere. I just was unable to find them. But pretty much other than that, and then maybe a few tweaks here and there on the interior, uh, this is a complete version of this build, uh, and I am pretty happy with how it turned out. Uh, it's, of course, the proportions are not quite right, uh, but it's hard to pull that off in LEGO. And I didn't really want to make this any larger. Right now it is sitting on a 32 by 32 base plate which is really the max size I could uh, think about doing for this. But I did want it to be large enough that through the entrance here you could fit two boats if you wanted to. There is enough room to fit a second one there. Uh, that's kind of, I don't know why that was important to me, but for some reason that was important to me, so I couldn't uh, make this any narrower because I wanted to be able to fit two boats in there side by side. And I would have also had to narrow these uh, supports here. And they were also about as narrow as I wanted to go. Because uh, even then it looks a little bit thinner than it does on the real model. Uh, but we'll spin it around the exterior first. So the tower technique I used here is exactly the same, pretty much, as what I did for the Great Hall. The middle tower on that, except of course for the roof. I might even change that to being the same design as the Great Hall. I just wanted to see how this would look for now. Got some ivy going up around the side. I'm reasonably happy with how that uh, turned out as well. The back is fairly plain, although I did put in just a basic stained glass window here to let a little bit of light into the interior, as well as just mix up the back of this a little bit. I don't know what's actually on the back of this building. As far as I could tell, there's not a single shot in all the movies that shows the back of the boathouse. I know there's some uh, rocky terrain going up here. Uh, that has more stairs that come around and then head up towards the castle. So it'll be kind of rocky in here. Yes, those are hinges, uh, which you'll be able to see what that's for uh, once we get to the interior. And yeah, these steps will be going up. And it, then as I just mentioned, they will they'll come up here. They'll turn and go straight along the back of this, going up a little bit further. And then they'll go up towards the castle. Uh, in my build here. Happy with how the steps turned out. I was just going to have them be pretty simple, just a brick height difference in between them. Right now they're at two plates, because when I put it at a brick height difference between each step, it was just kind of ridiculous to expect the <laughs> many figures to be able to make that step, because uh, as it is, here we go, here's a short-legged one. So his legs are already going to have trouble with just uh, two plates. But I did not want to do just one plate tall on the steps because then I was not going to gain height really at all going up the side of the building. It needs to be able to get up to Hogwarts without having to wind around too much. It does wind a ton in the, uh, the on movie version, but uh, I'm not going to have the space to make it do quite as many twists and turns. It'll still have uh, plenty in it, but let's get to the interior before... Uh, we get to the end of the video. So the entire roof section lifts off like so. Pretty straightforward. And now we can take a look down at the inside part in the shadows there. So you can see there's a couple boats hanging up for uh, for the season I guess because they're only using these really at the start of Hogwarts. Although I like to think that occasionally a student might come down and take a boat out onto the lake. Uh, which usually I would have had some ores in here. You can see there's an empty empty box there, which is where I would have stuck extra ores, but uh, I could not find any of my extra ores other than some white ones from the Ninjago uh, Manta Ray Bomber set, which didn't, wasn't quite what I was after, so no ores in there yet, but once I find them, they'll be stuck in there. Have some extra lanterns in the box off to the other side, just for when they need them for the other boats. And there's a little... What's the word? The things you can tie your boat up to when you're docking it uh, is what these are. 
And you can see my sig fig standing at the back here. Uh, let's see. Here we go. We'll look at it through here. That's a much better view of the interior. Anyway, so there's my sig fig standing at the back with this unfortunately rather obvious <laughs> secret door here. So you say the password or give a secret knock or something. And that swivels open and then you can take your secret passage to wherever it is going to go. Uh, as of right now, with how Hogwarts is built, it'll probably just go underneath my table, so you can take it to escape the Hogwarts layout. But um, I'm not super happy with how obvious this is, but in order to get it so it could actually close, I had to use these 1x2 cheese slopes here, which is an idea I got from, I believe it was a Minecraft set where I first saw it. So it blocks the gap fairly well, but it does leave a little bit of an indentation there. But I guess it doesn't matter that much, this would probably be a fairly well-known uh, secret entrance, although I guess usually it's only first years of Hagrid's down here, so maybe maybe they wouldn't notice in their excitement of seeing Hogwarts for the first time. Uh, but yeah, that pretty much does it for this mock. There's anything too incredibly exciting about it uh, or too intricate with the building techniques, but I am happy with how it turned out. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments, and make sure you're coming back for more videos. Thank you for watching.